15 thriving home-based business ideas for 2024. You can start small, but dream big. Look, there's a lot of opportunities out there now. You can do a lot of things. You know, people are looking to work from the comfort of their home. The one thing COVID, COVID has kind of created is a sense of freedom for people. People didn't have to go back to the offices. They didn't have to get in their cars. They didn't have to travel back and forth to work. And they and companies and employees are working from home. And not only are they working from home, but they understand that there is more to what they're doing in their career. So there's a lot going on out there right now. And people are stepping up and uh, being very creative in doing different things on the from the comfort of a home. Look, there's people that are starting cleaning services, mobile car washes, dog walking. They're tutoring from home. They're creating social media posting and helping businesses post social media, fitness and personal training. So look, if you start small, but you dream big. Digital marketing services. There's a you can learn a lot of things out there as far as what's going on in digital marketing, uh, AI technology. There's a lot in that area right there. Home-based bakery. You know, I have a uh, my daughter has a friend. She does this. She uh, bakes cupcakes, cookies, cakes, and things of that that nature. And sells them to people who are having parties for birthday parties, anniversaries, or whatever. And uh, does very well with that. You know, it's it's a great little business. Now, here's something. Organic farming and gardening. So, if you have some property, you know, there are a lot of restaurants that are looking to get fresh produce from local farmers. So, you, you don't need a large patch of land to do this. Drop shipping, print on demand, merchandise, becoming an Amazon seller. You could also be an affiliate and get into affiliate marketing, learn affiliate marketing, sell other people's products. Great little sideline. You can work from the comfort of your home. Online content creation with AI. Yes, very big. Exciting times. AI is driving things right now. So if you're not familiar with AI, it's something you might want to learn about. It's 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 uh it's the future. So step into the future. And network marketing, you know, uh, a lot of people don't like the term network marketing, multi-level marketing, MLM. They they you know they think it's a scam. And and look, there's a lot of businesses out there that have tried to scam people. You know, I, I wouldn't say a lot, but there are some. People do fall for it. And then when they fall for something, they don't blame themselves for falling for it. They blame the person that created it. So so what you need to do is you need to do your due diligence. You need to research these things. Look, I started back on the internet in 2007 Kind of went down to Dallas in 2009 to learn some things, understand things, understand how the Internet worked, try to generate leads. And it led me on a journey. But through that journey, look, uh, I've gone down some rabbit holes. I fell for a few uh, of these scams. And most of them are not, you're not investing a lot of money. But. That's all relative. You know, if you only have a couple hundred dollars and you invest your couple hundred dollars and you fell for a scam. But the one thing I can tell you is no matter what's out there on the Internet, you're not going to make money or generate an income overnight. It all takes time. I don't care if you start a dog walking business or a cleaning service or you start something on the Internet. You know, you're going to have to start with one dog, two dogs, three dogs or whatever. I don't know how that business model works. I was doing some research and evidently people are doing that and, and generating an income. 
there's also other ways. Like I said, you could do Uber or Shopify, those type of businesses. But the one thing about all those business models is you trade time for dollars. So there's a shift into the season of change. And if you, you know, like I told you, COVID has created this shift into a season of change. People are be, are awakening to and realizing they don't have to work in the corporate world anymore. They don't have to do the nine to five. They don't have to work a 40 hour week at the hospital or a 60 hour week at the hospital as a nurse. They don't have to work as a teacher. I appraise real estate in the Baltimore metro area. I love the business. I've been doing it for a long time and 34 years. It's a linear business. I need to do an appraisal to get paid for that appraisal. So there's a shift into a season of change, folks. So the evolution of the business model. So like I said, if you're looking to start something, you know, here's a little lemonade stand up here. You start a little lemonade stand, word of mouth. You do everything yourself. You, you make your lemonade, purchase the cups. You have everything there. You, you put out some flyers. You serve one customer at a time. You get some money for each lemonade you sell. And it's a very small overhead here. Then there's your storefront. Takes a little more investment, good bit more investment to build it out, depending upon what you need to do. You have to sign leases, insurances. So your overhead increases. Hopefully you have a good spot. You get a lot of foot traffic. So you're doing word of mouth and also other advertising methods to bring in more customers to generate more sales, more revenue. So that's another, you know, your brick and mortar. And uh, I'm just seeing just, you know, as I appraise real estate and drive around a good bit, I'm noticing a lot of stores, you know, are having some troubles. It, it depends on the area, but it's, it's, a it's becoming a tougher and tougher business model with competitions, you know, whether you, you know, you buy a franchise and you start a subway or a whatever it may be franchise, you know, even on a smaller rung of franchising prices, you're talking at least 50 to a hundred thousand, if not more in capital. So then you can have your storefront and some people are realizing for them to compete with a storefront, they need a virtual online store. So this is creating uh, search engine results, doing some online advertising, word of mouth. And the beauty of it is it's 24 seven and it is not, you know, you can sell all over your state, all over several states, all over the globe. So, and not quite as much overhead. You might have to do a little more advertising and search, you know, get your, get your, uh, virtual site store found on the internet might take a little bit of effort and time and energy and capital. But then there is a newer model, the social e-commerce. It's a relationship, a shared interest. You leverage a global economy. This has minimal overhead, minimal startup costs. So the, these are the, the way businesses transition.